Hey, welcome back to another video by the Fun Farm Tech. This is a video that I've been wanting to make for a while, and so finally I just decided to jump in and do it. Um, what this video is going to talk about is the three different types of pharmacies that I've had experience with. I am aware that there are other pharmacies out there, but these are the ones that I that I personally have experience with, and if you have any experiences as well, um, whether it's going to be regarding these type of pharmacies or you know a different type of pharmacy, feel free to go ahead and comment below and let others know about your experiences there. Now, this is basically just going to be a pros and cons list of working in each type of pharmacy. Some of them might be pros to you, some of them might be disadvantages, but we'll go ahead and go through. So the first type of pharmacy that I want to talk about is going to be a retail pharmacy. One of the pros of the retail pharmacy is that you can you get hands-on experience with the medication. You can touch it, you can see it, you can feel it, you know, you can say, oh yeah, this is what it looks like. A disadvantage, I feel like to the, I think there's, <laughs> I, you know, it might be a biased opinion, but I feel like there's a lot of disadvantages at the retail pharmacy. So of these three, I feel like a retail pharmacy has the lowest pay. So you get paid the lowest at a retail pharmacy. And like I said, some of these might be disadvantages, some of them might be advantages. Um, another thing that I think was a disadvantage is you're standing all day. Standing all day. If you like people, if you like, you know, like helping people and you like to, and you're okay sometimes getting yelled at, retail would be a great advantage because at retail would be a great advantage because you are coming in contact with people. So you're like hands-on customer service. Now, if you're like me and you don't like to deal with people, you can actually, that's the disadvantage. So like dealing with patients. The retail pharmacy is definitely, there are always companies or businesses looking for people to work at a, as, at a pharmacy. A lot of the places, you know, they, they hire you on, like some of the, some of the uh, big name drug stores. They hire you on, and you know maybe you're going to be a floor clerk, but then eventually you work your way up to them offering you a position to work in the pharmacy. But you'll still need to get licensed. Now, a hospital. Hospital is one of those ones that everybody. I feel like, in my personal opinion, everybody I talked to, everybody was wanting to work in a hospital but it's very limited um, of who can work in the hospital. Um, the advantage of that is, you know, a lot of people who are wanting to get, you know, the pharmacy technician program is just a stepping stone into their medical program. Um, a hospital is definitely a high preference for those who want to do that. A pro for a hospital is definitely, you know, a higher, higher pay than retail. And again, you have that dealing with patients and I, another, I think, in a, a pro for both of these, I'm going to go ahead and add it to both of these, is that you develop a relationship with a pharmacist. So you have direct contact with a pharmacist. Those are more cons, you know, or pros. Cons, you know, you're standing all day. And then again, you know, you're dealing with patients. That might be a disadvantage. So we're going to go ahead and put that over here too so you can... Now, at a retail pharmacy versus a hospital pharmacy, there's going to be different things that you're going to probably deal with more. A retail pharmacy, you know, or we'll start a hospital pharmacy, you're going to probably see crash carts often. You might not see it, or you won't see them at a retail pharmacy or even a, a mail order pharmacy. Um, you know, IVs, you'll see more at a hospital. Now, mail order, this is where I have the most experience at a pharmacy because this is where I work for the longest. So I'll probably have a lot more pros and cons in this section. So from my experience, mail order is the highest, highest paid place to work. But I think it's because it's a lot more, I want to say demanding. You know, at a retail pharmacy, I mean, it's a business, so they want you to push out prescriptions as quickly as possible. But they see and they know how quick you're working. And like they can see your work the results of your work. Mail order, there's two different kinds of pharmacy technician jobs you can help, you can have at a mail order pharmacy. Um, one is going to be the data entry section of it and the other is going to be the fill section. And it's, it's interesting to note that 
data entry is going to be a higher pay than the filling site, typically, from my experience. I mean, there's probably definitely some circumstances where that's not the case, but I'm going to go ahead and say it is the case for this video. So another advantage, I'm going to go ahead and say that you don't really deal with patients. You know, a prescription gets scanned in. You're in charge of inputting that, that the data. And a lot of the times, companies, they let you just throw in headphones and then be on your way. So, you know, I could listen to music. So I actually listened to a lot of books while I was working. We'll just say listen to music or book. Mail order pharmacies, they, for, they, all, they usually have better benefits than the retail pharmacy. I'm not sure probably about the same benefits as the hospital pharmacy, but the mail order pharmacies that I'm aware of, they have tuition reimbursement. They have great dental, vision, health insurance. If you don't like standing, you're actually sitting all day. Some of the disadvantages of working at a mail order pharmacy would be you're kind of isolated. You don't really get that person interaction, whether it's between your colleagues um, or your pharmacists. So you don't really talk to pharmacists much, no RPH interaction and then also like no hands-on experience with medications so you don't really get to see what the medications look like as much if you're working at the data entry end of course if you're working at the fill end you do um, I think the the biggest issue with with the mail order whether it's going to be you know the data entry part or the the fill site is that they're definitely all about numbers. For example, when I started, we were required to input like a hundred prescriptions an hour. Eight hour days, you're inputting like 800 prescriptions an hour, which is a lot. And it gets really, really intense, maybe monotonous to have to do the same thing over and over again. Because that's all it is, the same thing over and over again. So these are the these are the main pros and cons that come to my mind when I think about the pros and cons of pharmacy. When people ask me which pharmacy I would recommend working at, I'm sorry, but I think mail order is definitely more my cup of tea, my preference, because I don't like standing, as bad as that may sound. The tuition reimbursement's nice, the benefits are great. And you know, it's nice just to listen to music, throw your headphones in and be left alone. Listen to a lot of great audiobooks. And of course, the benefit of the highest paid, bling blingin'. But go ahead and feel free to share your thoughts and comments below. What do you agree with, what don't you agree with? And that's it. So if you like this video and you want to be updated on all future videos, please make sure to like and subscribe to this channel. And happy farm teching.